opportunity to do this. One, because I deserve it and I deserve luxury things. Two, because they see my content and they believe in me as well. Three, look at this view, bro. Like, and I'm not spending money, I'm using my resources. You know, I'm collabing with businesses because I have a half a million followers on the platform. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool that I'm able to experience this right now. I'm gonna give you guys a full view, review for the next couple of days. Right now I'm about to go downstairs and grab something to eat though, all right? What do you guys think? What are we about to explore today? Y'all know I'm a wild one. I like to, I like to do something new. Bro, living in Southeast Asia, bro, you just not, you gotta have your P's and Q's in the same sentence. Papa John, what the, f bro, I ain't gonna cap, I love Papa John's. What is one doing here in the Philippines? I don't know, but I wonder if it's busted. I had a young, lovely young lady invite me to this rooftop place here for dinner one day. Man, food was busting. And lusting. Views was to Woody Do What Squad. Oh shit. Y'all ever hit y'all head on the sign? Ain't that some shit, man? Y'all hit my head on the sign. What? We about to hit up this market, man. We about to see if any of the food looks appealing or appetizing, because honestly, some markets be finessing. We just gonna see. We just gonna see, man. This was this bizarre market. They may be a finesse. They even got Wendy's right over here, though, bro. Like, and then I made a video over here a couple days ago. It went viral on TikTok. You feel me? It's just a lot of a lot of motion. I don't know what possessed me to buy three full milkshakes, but I have them in front of me, so I'm about to test these out. I got an Oreo milkshake. I got a strawberry milkshake, or excuse me, a watermelon. And then I got another melon milkshake. So we gonna see what's popping like. This banana cookie and cream is good. Okay then, what's this on the top? Um, uh, the mozzarella cheese and this is the garlic rice. Okay, okay, okay. That's different. That's different. Let's see how they go. Thanks. We pack so try. Let's get it. All right, so the camera died at the restaurant, and I ain't gonna lie, I was a little disappointed because, well, I'll show you. I haven't had Papa John's in a long time, y'all. Like, the longest of time, the longest. See, when I was still in America, I was vegan, man. But, uh, you know, I ordered some to do a full review to see how good Papa John's is um, in the Philippines. And first of all, somebody must want to fight me because why, why the bacon look like this? Why the bacon? Then the garlic sauce ain't got no garlic. But, you know, you got to look past that. And you, um, and you do this. This right here. You dip that in some of that buttery sauce. Now I'm glad they got the buttery sauce. Or at least I think it is. We gonna, It's tasting better as it is colder. I like cold food though. 
Mm. Have an acquired taste for some. Mm. So off rip, I will not say that this is not tasty. I also want to say this is as good as America. America would have just boo booed on them. Like, that shit would have been. <laughs> Fajita. I follow another man on TikTok. He says in one of his videos, just paraphrasing, he's like, the amount of money that I spent on food just to pleasure myself because I was not where I wanted to be. So the way that he would treat himself is with like splurging. But it just kept him in a cycle of not being where he wanted to be. Damn, that shit hit. Really make you think about what habits you really lock in here. Papa John's in Manila, Philippines. You passed the test. Aww. And shout out to the lo lovely young lady who worked in the front desk. Yeah! She has some extra cool points. I'm not trusting the cheese though. I don't know the cheese is not it. I just went from nothing but great news to boom. It's something about moving to Asia that make you cheaper. When I was in America, $40 to $100 for a hotel room was the standard. Not only that, they would be medium, especially in LA. Like, ugh. But, uh, you know, then you move to Asia and you spend $39 to overlook the city. Or you get beautiful 360 pools and saunas and you know all of these other things included. We start going, oh we 2200 pesos? That's a that's a lot. It's up there. Like what changed? What changed for me? Because I was definitely spending it in America. We were definitely spending it in America. And now I look at I look at rooms that are one third the price of what they were in America. Like, ooh we. But whenever I book them, I choose to enjoy it fully. You know what I'm about to do? I'm about to sit here. I'm about to let my brown skin toast a little bit in this sun. And I'm about to enjoy every amenity this place got. Until these videos pop off to the point where I'm staying in them for free. That's what's going to happen. These videos are going to pop off to the point where I'm staying at these places for free. To get free reviews. So y'all enjoy this $40 view. We got the pool down there. And then we even got a lap pool right over here. If you into the more serious swimming, they got a lap pool. Then you got the gym right behind me. Gym. Boom. And then there's another group of tanning beds right on the side. And then you got the little tanning beds that sit right here in the water. And then you got the heat out of the can't lose. You can't lose. Why would I snooze? Why? Nigga, they got Wendy's. In Manila, Philippines? Hold on. 
Y'all ain't about to play with me like this. What are this? Alright, for sure. You see what they're working with? Don't play with them. So they have like a another space for me to sit. You're right there now. Alright you guys, so I got their snack meal and it's basically a sampler of the main things. You got a shake, you got a couple french fries. No, I know I smashed that thing. It was mid though. Uh, the, okay, the sandwich was nice. The sandwich was like a 7 out of 10. The sauce, the dipping sauce for the chicken tenders. Seven out of ten. The frosty. Seven out of ten. The tea. Six point five. We're just gonna rank this a smooth seven. Would I ever go to Wendy's again in the Philippines? I really don't care to. But if I do, I'm gonna request to get my stuff done, well done, well did. I am currently outside. Um, it just so happened that one of the girls that I got cool with through another mutual friend out here lives extremely close to the spot that I'm doing a collab with. So. We're about to link up, just friends though, of course. And I think she has somebody with her. Anyways, this is refreshing because I've been needing some different type. I've been needing some vibey energy. It's somebody who vibes. You know what I mean, you know what I mean. Hey! <laughs> there they go right there, yo. What's poppin'? Whoa, right. Hi, What's up, buddy? How you doing? Man, bro? Cool, bro. Cool. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. Dang, you smell super good, bro. Yeah, that's how you do it. You gotta walk out like that. Oh, what up? These are supposed to be 99 cents, you guys. This is 109 pesos. That's double the price. Yes. Why? I don't know. I don't know. You gotta talk to somebody about that. I gotta talk to somebody about the the Arizona teas not being 99 cents. Somebody didn't get the memo. <laughs> Nightlife or like an owl? I know, out. You like going Am out? I? Yeah, you like going out, don't you? I'm not, I'm not that, like. You don't like going out? Not that much. Let me go. So which one of y'all turn up the hardest? She turned up the hardest, Honda. In terms of dancing or like? I mean, just like when you outside, you like, or I don't know, whatever the turn up is. I feel like she turns up the hardest. Is that right? I know. You go crazy at the, in the club? I'm more like chill in the background. Chill? Yeah. You? Yeah, I put a couple more. Dancing in front of the DJ. I mean, like, you gotta enjoy the music. I mean, somebody <laughs> gotta enjoy the music. Yeah. What's something about staying here that is the con, like being right here? Traffic. Okay. Traffic is bad, yes, but. You feel me? I haven't experienced it really, yeah. but that's what everybody says. Everybody traffic says traffic and everything is a little slower. Like, if you want to get something, it takes longer. In America, I have Amazon well, Prime in two days. I got. Try. I want you to try it. Bad, bad. Mm. <laughs> is it good? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <said> okay. <laughs> So, we can do this. So. Bring this, just in case you want to do tortillas. Thank you. All right, I'm about to Welcome. let the chef speak for a second. What did you prepare for us? <laughs> Shut up, cool. I this is what the heck? I know the name, but it's like... Nah, you got to give yourself some credit. Like, you put some vegetables together. Yeah, you know, I some, you know put some, like, some sauce in there. Yeah. And it's on, like man. onion. Oh, Mary, I'm set up with... You need, you need to name oh, this. Yeah. Uh, this shit is gonna this make your rice taste 10 times better. Okay, yeah, let me see what's up with this. Here. I'm gonna give you another one because it's done. You sure? Uh, yeah, yeah. I might, no, I can just take the crumbs. That's, okay. Yeah, it's some. Try putting your rice. Try sure? a little bit first. Yeah, I test it out. It's gas. Mm. 
I love it. That look pretty, don't it? Okay, okay, okay. I see what y'all mean now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. You like the uh, the cheese thingy, the yeah. rice candy? It gives, it, you know, it do something extra for the rice because the rice is so. Verified. No, 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 no. Verified. Yeah. <laughs> Verified. Verified. You traveling to the Philippines and need a nice destination to lay your head, I got you with this review. We are in Manila, and let me tell you, they started it off right. The shower divider, this is an American style bathroom with the pressure washer, with the rainfall. Hot, cold water, let's go! Bathrooms are usually hit or miss in Asia, this wasn't hit. Next, we got the spacious studio space. This place had an amazing soft bed, a couch, refrigerator. Closet space, stove top, YouTube, Netflix, aircon, quiet neighbors, and a view overlooking Makati, Manila, Philippines. You guys, the view was probably one of the best parts. I was coming out on this balcony just to sit and breathe, and it was everything I needed. Daytime views are okay, but when it's night, you can really set the mood. Invite your date over. You guys have a glass of wine. And then you lay down on a comfortable bed. When you rent here, you get access to a gym, three pools, a sauna, massage, tanning chairs. All overlooking the city still, and even a garden. Like, I sat out here and I was just amazed by these views. I freaking love it. It's so refreshing and clean and inviting. Literally walking distance to a mall, American restaurants, Filipino night markets. Nightlife is popping. This was definitely one of the best places I stayed at in Manila. This place is travel verified. DM the host the book.